Welcome to Cape Breton Movers and Shakers, where we have conversations with people who are doing interesting things here in Cape Breton. I'm Richard Lorway, president of GoCapeBreton.com, and today I'm talking with Tyler McIntyre and Anna McPherson, co-owners of the Cape Breton Beard Factory in Sydney, Nova Scotia. Welcome, guys. Well, thanks, Hello. Rich. So what is the Cape Breton Beard Factory? I mean, you don't manufacture beards, obviously. Uh, not quite. Um, we are a company that uh, sells a wide range of beard products, including uh, a line of five uh, beard oils, mustache wax, beard balm, beard shampoo, and all the accessories that go along with it, brushes, combs, and uh, now a, uh, a clothing line. Excellent. So, so how did you get started? Um, I think it was something uh, I was introduced to uh, early on, uh, a product that was kind of... Uh, it was a good product for me. I got introduced to a quality beard oil at one point in time. And then, uh, and then it was kind of uh, an inability to, to find another quality beard oil or something that I really liked. And um, so we kind of just started messing around with some uh, science some trial and error and uh, found a gap in the market spot, marketplace here in Nova Scotia and came up with our, our line of beard oils to begin with. And then uh, we went from there. All right. Super. So Tyler, I mean, I know you grew up in the neighborhood, so to speak, across the street. That's and right. so I know a bit about your background history. Anna, where are you from? I actually grew up in Dartmouth. Okay. Um, but we spent every summer in Marion Bridge. So gotcha. Cape Breton has a, a big spot in my heart. <laughs> oh, excellent. So how, how'd you guys meet? Tyler? Um, I don't know. I guess we could say on the basketball course. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Down at the YMCA. Um, yeah, we're both uh, avid basketball players or were. Um, yeah getting a little older now but anyway uh, that's where we kind of first met at the uh, YMCA playing basketball and it was kind of uh, kept running into each other I guess pretty much mm -hmm. on the court and uh, one thing led to another and now we're engaged and just bought a new house and yeah got a little boy and, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so did he have a beard then Anna or no he's always had a beard yeah ah okay gotcha gotcha so um so you, you decided to start a small business. So, so what, what made you think that that's what you wanted to do? What, why entrepreneurship? Uh, I don't know. It's kind of been in my blood. Um, my family is self-employed. My father's self-employed his entire life. And I've had a, uh, a number of small businesses growing up. Um, it was something I always reverted back to, whether I had full-time jobs or not. It was, it was something I always, I always liked kind of being in control of my destiny, as you, you could say, I guess. And, and it was just something I always reverted back to. And I knew that we wanted to kind of stay in Cape Breton and uh, took a look at the economy and where it was heading. And uh, entrepreneurship is kind of on its, uh, on its uh, propeller in the right direction here, here on the island. And it was just something that I decided to go for. And it seems to me from, from talking to you that, that you guys have you know, embraced sort of the culture of entrepreneurship. Is that, is that right? And, and could you explain why? How, what... Yeah, I mean, um, well, like I said, there's a lot of young entrepreneurs here on the island, and there's a lot of help now, and uh, there's a lot of people kind of doing similar stuff in different fashions, obviously, but we totally embraced uh, the entrepreneurship. Like I said, we're, we're somewhat young, and uh, we think we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of good qualities here. We've got a little bit of a background, both of us, and uh, we just decided to run with it. Okay. So you, you, you know, beard oil is, is uh, one of your primary or probably your, your main product. And by the way, I, I'm a consumer of it. So, you are. so and, I, and I really enjoy it. Um, so, so where do you produce it? So we actually uh, manufacture it here on the island. Um, we're located in the New Don building and we have a, a section where we kind of got every, our equipment set up. And Anna, I must say, is kind of uh, the lead hand behind that whole mm -hmm. scene. She likes to kind of be behind the scenes a little bit, but she's yeah. uh, she's kind of in charge of that aspect of it. And um, we spend a lot of time after hours, uh, nights, weekends, kind of manufacturing it. So we have it ready for our retail outlets and our shop uh, whenever we need it. So, so Anna, are you, you in charge of the recipes? I mean, there's, there's different. She is. Yeah. Okay. I am, yeah. <laughs> how do you... <laughs> and how do you determine? uh what what the recipes are going to be 
Honestly, like Tyler said, it was a lot of trial and error, um, feedback from customers, research on what oils, um, whether it's like carrier essential oils um, are more beneficial than others. And then, yeah, it was mainly trial and error gotcha. <laughs> and testing and on testing. this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and you do have some scent free uh, as well for people who. Yes, there's one fresh. scent free oil. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So obviously, you know, Cape Breton is a big part of your brand. Uh, can you talk a bit about that a bit? Yeah, I think that was uh, kind of our business model going in. We said maybe we should uh, focus on Cape Breton as a brand in itself and kind of use that in, in our business model. Um, I mean, Cape Breton is being recognized all over the world for different things, whether it's golf or our tourism or our food and a lot of, a lot of different things now. So we thought it would it'd go a long way to kind of represent our company and the Cape Breton brand as one and use that to our advantage really. Gotcha. Gotcha. So, uh, you know, you've, you've been operating for how long? Uh, three years now. Excellent. And so, and you've got your own facility. So what are your challenges right now? Um, bringing inventory in is, is a challenge. I mean, that's challenge everywhere is right now, but um, that, that's a, that's a big one. It's, I mean, it's tough to kind of get certain things at this point in time, just due to uh, the backup in, in the market. Um and again, I mean, obviously with COVID markets were, were a big, a big part of our business. I mean, Christmas markets are huge, which there are a few coming back, but I mean, uh, last year, especially we didn't have any and that. That was a challenge. It was kind of like, okay, we missed out on a huge market for us. So um, th that, that's, a, that's a challenge. I mean, we're, we're waiting to get the answers on a couple that hopefully pop up this year around Christmas time that we can uh, take advantage of. Um, because without those, I mean, you, you lose a, a lot of business. So that, that, that's a challenge. Um, what else, dear? I think you covered most of them. Yeah. Other than that, we're kind of just grinding away. And um, we're just like everyone else. If one door closes, we try to open up another what, in whatever, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Right. So, so how many units are you producing now? How many products do we have? Yeah. Well, no, how many, like your, in terms of your sales, do you plan to scale up? Like what? How yeah, much, I mean, we're selling volume? in. Uh, yeah, we're selling in twenty six retail stores across Atlantic Canada now. I mean, uh, all across Nova Scotia and in New Brunswick, um, and then we have our own location, obviously in the New Don Center here down in the north end of Sydney, um, and we're still shipping uh, right across Canada, uh, Eastern America. We sent down to California last week. Um, we went as far as Australia. We had a pack sent over to Australia there. So I mean, we're continuing to uh, kind of grind through the retail uh, outlets across the province and hopefully further further west and uh, continue with the with the shipping we uh, we spend a lot of time on our e-commerce site and and uh, pushing that forward through our social media platforms and we're always uh, looking for new retail outlets and uh, new opportunities okay super so so what's the future hold then what do you think if you had your what, what's your grand vision where do you like to get to um, ideally, uh, well, for instance, we're just launching a new, uh, Cape Breton beard factory clothing line for the fall and winter, which includes, uh, a couple different t-shirts, our crew knock sweaters, um, our toques. Um, so we hopefully can continue to kind of push, give, give options to our customers. Cause not everyone has a beard and not everyone wants to grow a beard, but they do want to help our company and be a part of our company. So we think the clothing is one aspect to kind of grasp that market. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just want to continue to kind of push our company out west and wherever else we can. And we want to uh, just build our company to, to, to create valuable employment here on the island and uh, hopefully employ as many people as we possibly can and pay them a good wage and have everyone happy and benefits and just continue to grow in that aspect. I mean, our, our shop right now, we're only about at about 300 square feet down here. We plan on hopefully having a larger spot here in the, in the near future. And maybe when the cruise ships come back, I mean, that's going to be a big help for us. We hope. And yeah, we all hope for that then, one. Yeah. 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 Okay. So I, I, I'm looking, speaking of t-shirts, I'm looking at the ones yeah. you're wearing. So this is part of the Movember campaign, right? Gotcha. Perfect. Yeah. So who can tell me what, you know, for those people who, who don't know, what is Movember? So Movember is a um, 
it's it, it takes place during November. Uh, November is a campaign that's kind of worldwide where it supports um, a couple of different things, including uh, mental health, um, prostate cancer, um, testicular cancer, along with a, a number of other things. And what it is, it's basically a time to raise money uh, for these for these um, types of things by growing a mustache, I guess. Um, that's uh -huh. kind of the, the base around it, um, November, November. So what we did this year is we started a campaign called our uh, Mo Knowledge, Mo Power campaign. Um, what we're doing is um, we're selling t-shirts and um, a portion of each t-shirt sold is gonna go to a local uh, charity here, which is the Three Brothers Project, which is nice. something, uh, which, which is a project we've teamed up with last year. Um, and we're, we're selling t-shirts. We're challenging, uh, local businesses to kind of jump on board, maybe buy them for their employees. Uh, we're selling them individually. And, um, that's, that's kind of what we're doing right now. So, I mean, we just started obviously three days ago. Um, we ordered a, what we thought was a, a large amount of t-shirts <laughs> and we just ordered, reordered today. Yeah, so wow. three days into it. Um, yeah, the response has been great. I mean, we've been selling them not only on the Island, um, off island actually all the way to ontario and um so we're running with it again it's our mo knowledge mo power um and we just think it's a great opportunity to kind of give back uh, again to the local charity here great so by the way if you send me a link i'll put it just below the video in this article so sure we'll do okay. yeah all right super all right so i the last question is kind of an open-ended one if you if you had one piece of advice for somebody who was thinking of starting a small business uh, what would it be I, I think it's asked for help. I mean, I ask the questions. I mean, especially around here, it's like there's so many people now um, w either in this position or have been in this position that are, are truly willing to help you, um, including ourselves. But I mean, it's it's don't be afraid to ask for help or or ask the questions that you, you might not be sure of um, because that's what we did. And um, sometimes it's not easy to do that. Um, but I'm telling you, there's, there's a number of people in this community, in the entrepreneurship community here in Cape Breton and a lot of successful people that are willing to help you and will give you their time. So I would say, just ask for help, ask questions and don't be afraid. Super. All yeah. right. Well, thanks very much guys. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Thanks Rich. Uh, we truly appreciate it. All right. I've been speaking with Tyler McIntyre and Anna Mc Person, co-owners of the Cape Breton Beard Factory, and we'll see you next time on Cape Breton Movers and Shakers.